Okay. Finally, I found one and I can do the Altar of Blessing video. Um, normally I get these things all the time, but today when I decided it's time to sit down and do the video, I've had to run 20 maps just to get this thing. Um, so, the Altar of Blessing is a very simple mechanic, the purpose of which, the basic purpose of which, is to get the items called Light of Life to uh, power up your relic and avatars. There are many different kinds of these. You'll notice each one has a different symbol correlating to one of the, uh, the gods in the game. Uh, it has very little bearing on what drops from the thing, to be totally honest. There's one that drops a ton of gold. There's one that drops a ton of uniques. Um, I think there's one that drops gems gemstones of courage, or maybe they all do. I don't know. Uh, but there is a good way to run these and a bad way to run these. And I'm going to show you the good way to run these. And Statler is going to assist me by meowing. So, when you find an Altar of Blessing, there is going to be one at the start of the map. And there is going to be one at the end of the map. And this is an important thing to note. Because you're only given 120 seconds, so that's two minutes. Or is it 90 seconds now? It might be 90 seconds. I think they might have changed it. Uh... Either way, you're only given a certain amount of time to find the portals that the enemies will come out of. So what you should do, and what we're going to do here, is run through the entire map, and then we're going to activate it. Now, hopefully I can figure out how to do a speed up for this next little section, because I would love to do this next little section with me going... Uh, so let's see if that happens, and if I can't find it, well, this is going to be through the whole thing. Um, we have cleared everything i'm going to activate this portal and run around and try to activate or i'm going to activate the altar sorry and try to run around and find portals um they cover about a screen you basically have to get them just about on screen um sometimes it's closer sometimes it's farther away it doesn't seem like there's any rhyme or reason to it um, but we're going to run around real fast here as quickly as we can, find the portals, and open them and kill everything. And the second we kill something, we're going to move to the next one. Sometimes you'll get little pockets of them. Um, and because they have changed how the thing uh, activates, you can actually click them fairly quickly. Um, in cases like this, where the map has a bit of space after where the uh, altar is, it is a good idea to loop back around to where the altar was. Because portals can appear there that don't appear when you initially click it. I don't know why that is. It's probably just a bad programming choice. Um, but here we are. Uh, there are different kinds of portals. Uh, ranging from the blue to the red. And much like you would expect, the higher rarity portals are going to drop more stuff. Uh, so you want to find uh, you know, the highest portals you can. Uh, my inventory is full. Of course it is. We're not going to stop and worry about that. Generally, I would pay attention to that and not have that happen while I'm doing this. Not that it is a big deal to go back and uh, trick the game into letting you pick up all the stuff if you have the pet. Um, without having to actually go back and manually go to the different areas. And I'll show you that when I get my stuff done here. Now, it's important to note, I did something silly while I was doing this. There was a... what are they called? Not a shrine. What are they called in this? I can't remember. I'm going to call it a shrine, because that's basically what it is. Uh, that gives you a movement speed buff. If you save that, knowing that there's an altar, you can pick that up and stack it with the movement speed buff that you get from the altar itself. So as you can see here, we got quite a bit of light of life. If we go into here, you can see that I, I brought it up previously, and I got, I don't even know, it looks like about 2,000 light of life out of that, which is pretty good. Um, 
Am I at max? I am at max. Hey, look at that. I didn't realize. Uh, so this is something else I wanted to bring up in this video anyway, so it's convenient that I'm at max. So once you are at max when it comes to your relic, okay, your light of life bar will get full. And when it does, you should convert by clicking this little button here at the end, convert your light of life, okay, to mysterious elements and then store them in your inventory. Uh, you can do them, do two things with them. You can make the hyper energy regeneration cubes to repower up your avatars. Uh, the other thing you can do is save them until next season when they raise the relic level again. And you can recover the light of life from these to get uh, a leg up so that your uh, avatars are gaining levels immediately. Um, it's not a big deal, but it is something that I like to do. Anyways, guys, that is the entirety of the uh, altar thing that I wanted to talk about. Uh, good luck out there. As always, if I made any mistakes in this, please let me know in the comments. Um, in the comments also is a link to my Twitch if you're interested to come hang out. Um, good luck out there and, uh, you know, yeah.